Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a roundup. We haven't done a winter luxury favorites roundup since the winter's pretty much over. I feel like I'm calling it. I guess it's not technically over until March 21st, but I'm calling it. We're close enough. We're about a week away. Let's do our designer luxury purchase roundup of the winter. You guys know I shop a lot and I show you guys what I buy. And so I think it's important that once the season's over, I give you guys feedback on what pieces really were like stand out. As per usual, there's gonna be some incredible accessories, but there's some clothing items this year that really stood out. I don't know if you guys have realized it, but I've kind of changed my way of shopping. I'm not into that fast fashion. I feel like I've pretty much almost eliminated my desire for Zara out of my life. And I've really just been appreciating quality, sustainability, and I don't know, just, I, I've kind of elevated my game when it comes to clothing. And I can really tell I've gone from really just wearing things once or twice to really wearing things on repeat, finding out ways to style them because the pieces that I buy are truly pieces, they're investments, and they're things that I just want to rewear because I'm excited about that. So with that being said, let's jump into this video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa. For those of you who are old timers, hey, hi, welcome back. The first thing I wanna mention in this video a company called Burlook. Burlook, I actually picked up this bathing suit from them. It's like a dip back bathing suit. I wore this when I went to Jay Peak to the water parks with Luca. When I was there, I wore it and I tagged them and the brand reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to try on a few more pieces. So of course I said yes. So before I start this video, I want to show you guys these items just because I bought this bathing suit to start off with because I love their company values and I wanna share them with you guys pre kicking off this video. They are made with recycled water bottles. They're made with recycled knives. I just I love their values and what they're about. I thought I would show you guys quickly a few of my favorite pieces from their website that I picked up. They let me pick whatever I wanted, so I'm showing you guys my tops. So obviously we're gonna start with this one because this is the one that I picked up that introduced me to the brand. I wore this one at J Peak. I wore this like down water slides on a lazy river with a kid running around all over the place. I was locked and loaded even though there's a low back. It was super comfortable. So I highly recommend this one right here. I'm gonna put all the links down below and they also gave me a 20% off code for you guys. So I'll, I'll also put that down below. So my need originally was to have like a mom bathing suit, which was this one. And then when they told me I could pick a few more, I was like, I could go regular Melissa and go sexy bathing suit. You guys know that I'm a lover of the teeny tiny bikini. What I think it's important is that they do both. You can get the cutesy, like trendy mom bathing suit that like covers the tush, but then you can also get the me vibe bathing suits, like the real me vibe, not in mom mode at a water park or like on a play date at someone's pool. The real me in a bikini vibe. <laughs> they cover both. So the first one that I picked up is this one here. So it's a triangle bikini. I love the color. So it's war you can wear it both sides. So you can wear it on the cream side or on the green side. I love this like moss green, but I also love the aesthetic of it on this side with the moss green strings. And it's same for the bottom. The bikini is like an itty bitty, which again, if you've seen me in Miami, you know my vibes. I'm a queen of itty bitty bikinis, and this one is perfect so it has that sustainability but it also has that like cheeky factor to it which usually I'm not gonna lie it's difficult to find brands that do both the next one I picked up this one right here so same concept itty bitty but I love the fabric on this one so it's a smocked bathing suit the whole way through this is just what the front looks like and then the top is triangle but this one's a little bit more covered up I mean I'm showing them on so you'll be able to see the vibe that it's doing the last one I picked up is this one I find this so beautiful this one is probably one of those like mom bikinis I could wear to like a play date with moms that like know how I really dress I feel like I'd be cool with this one so this one is just like a cute little triangle bottom and then the top is one of these it looks so good. So I will leave all the information down below for Burlook as well as my code if you guys are interested. Now let's hop into some fun luxury items that I picked up for the winter that I love. The first thing we're gonna talk about is this right here. This is a shrug by Isabelle Marin. I bought it as a two piece, so I bought the tube that goes with it as well as the shrug. I um, thought I was only gonna wear it like this. Like I thought it was gonna be kind of like an outfit vibe, but really, I wear the shrug almost every day. You guys know I'm a big lover of the bodysuit. 
and this is perfect over any like tank top bodysuit. I found myself reaching for this constantly. I also love this, but I don't think it was necessary considering the price. It's super soft and it's super cozy. And I mean, honestly, Isabelle Marin can you really go wrong with her knits? Like, I just feel like she's the queen of a good chunky sweater. Next off, you've probably seen me wear these sweaters to death. These are the Frankie Shop striped sweaters. I have this in two colors. That is how much I love this sweater. This was, I honestly believe, my star purchase of the winter. If I could have worn the sweater every single day, I probably would have. The other color is actually at the dry cleaners. The other color is the one I wore most. It was a black and beige versus the white and black. The white and black is also beautiful, but the beige and black was everything that I was about this season. The cropness, the feel of it. It's a wool sweater, but it's not an itchy wool. I don't know everything about it. It just looks chic. And you guys were probably getting fed up of seeing me wearing this on Instagram. I know my friends in real life were probably getting fed up because every time I'd like meet people up for lunch, I'd be like showing up in these tops. But that's what those sweaters did to me. They were like the best purchase. I have to say Frankie Shop this year was a year of record amazingness for me. I discovered the brand a few years ago, but I really appreciated it this year. These oversized jackets, I have them in like three or four different colors. Let me actually put it on so you can get the vibe. Although if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely know what they look like because I wear them nonstop. So my trick is I put them with a hair tie right here and I lift the sleeve. Just so you guys can see, I have them all in extra small, small. I believe that's how they're sized. I buy them in the smallest size that you can get. And I just find they're the perfect accessory to any outfit. Whenever the tops are like too cropped, the skirt is too short. It's always something that I reach for and I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel very put together with these pieces, I don't know. I, I truly, truly love them. When the oversized jacket trend is done, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> Another clothing star purchase for me was this Alaya bodysuit. Again, I showed it on Instagram probably just a few times, but in real life, this is something. It's gone to the cleaners probably like five, six times already. I love this t-shirt. It was like so perfect. The sleeve is nice and loose. You feel really petite. Alaya as a brand is, it's, it's back with a vengeance in my book. I started buying vintage pieces last year, but like Alaya, full force, strong. I think you can only get it on Farfetch if you're a private client because Alaya as the brand is very difficult to find. I find it's not as accessible as other brands, but if you are a private client with Farfetch, you can pick up Alaya. Oh, speaking of Farfetch, I have a new code for you guys. I will put it down below and I'll put it on the screen here. 10% off site-wide and with a few exceptions, but it's for new people only. You know what that means. Open a new email. I'm gonna start with some accessories now because you guys know, at heart, I'm an accessory girl through and through. And my belt of the season was this Versace or Versace, whichever way you wanna say it. I love this. I wore it over jackets, I wore it with jeans. It is that easy belt. I feel like everybody this year was going the Celine route or the Lueve route. I went Versace and I am not upset about it. It has this like Baroque detail. I feel like not everybody knows what it is. It's like, what brand is this? The details are just everything on it. Plus the quality is incredible. The amount of times that I've worn this belt, like it still looks brand new. You guys know I'm a Sunnies chick. I love a good Sunnies. There are three pairs that I wore nonstop this winter. First one, my Bottegas, which are in my suitcase downstairs from Peak, but I'll insert a picture so you guys can see what they look like. I bought them a few years ago, but I truly, truly appreciated them this year. Next off, I also have these black ties. These are Dior, but they're from the men's department. So they're a flat top. Uh, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I think I possibly live with these sunglasses. I think they are timeless. They are amazing. They give me Saint Laurent SL1 vibes without being Saint Laurent SL1s, if that makes any sense. These are the updated kind of cooler version, I guess. And then I have these classic Celine's. What are these called? These are... I'll put the code down below, they don't have a name. But these are Celine, and these are like when I need like basic sunglasses, where they're not like showy, they're just like a good basic. I love these. A brand that I bought for the first time, Lulu Studio. I have been following them on Instagram for a few years, and I love the brand, I love their aesthetic. It's a brand from Paris, and it's the first time that I picked up a piece by them. And I got these um, wide leg, 
low slung, I guess pleated trouser denim. I'm in love with these. They were on the pricier side for denim, which is why they're in a luxury haul. But they're so good. Like, they're so good. I wore these so much this winter. I'm still going to wear them like crazy this summer. I'm seeing these with, like, crop tops. Literally, like, I could be wearing this right now. Like, I love these. Lulu Studio is a brand that I plan on buying much more of. And, yeah, I stock them. The only store that I ever found them at in Montreal is uh, Shop 4110. I think it's called 4110 on St. Catherine across from... Westmount Square. They have like a really nice selection and I, if they would have had these trousers in blue I would have bought them in blue as well. That's how much I love them considering how pricier they were. Ooh, this was an unexpected like add to my list. So this wallet on chain by Second Life Jewels. This is a Chanel wallet. So basically what Second Life Jewels does is they take vintage Chanel wallets and they make chains for them. So for this one I actually custom ordered that the strap would be shorter and longer and then I did like a shorter crossbody on this one which is why I think I love this so much. It sits perfectly. I love the versatility of like the short crossbody and then the also the little top handle if you want to kind of like lady like hold it. This is really a bag or a wallet that I've used so much. I think this was my like go-to going out bag for the winter and they sell for like 600 which is like such a like I, I can't believe nobody's been doing this like Second Life Jewels if you don't follow them I will link them down below. This is not sponsored. They're also the sweetest girls from Toronto. You guys definitely need to know about them and you have to follow them on Instagram because they only advertise their drops on Instagram and when the items go live they're literally sold out within five minutes. Like you need to set your reminders and go as they go live because they put they I think they post once every week or two and then once it's gone it's gone let's talk bags now so the first bag that I have to say I use the most is this this is a vintage Celine it's like that like glossy like calf leather and then it has a strap that you can also use so you could shoulder it you can crossbody it this is really how I carried it like a vintage clutch I don't know I just feel like it's such a good aesthetic. Next bag that I used on repeat nonstop is this Tom Ford for Gucci era bag. Again, back in like the late fall, early winter, this seemed to be like the go-to black bag that I went for on repeat. I wish I could find this in like a lighter color for summer. I would love this in like a light yellow. I know that they had made pastel versions of these, so I'm gonna be on the hunt for these because this Tom Ford era, I really like. I know that they came back out, they reissued a lot of the Tom Ford, uh, the horse bit vibes, but I really like this like, Square G Tom Ford. Another bag that's been a hero for me for this winter has been this baby Chanel. So this is the, I think it's called the Mini Vanity Vertical. I love this bag. I think this bag is literally the cutest little Chanel bag I own. I think it's everything. These two have actually been the two that I've reached for the most. As much as I love my like salmon colored one that I said I wore a lot in the springtime and the summer, for winter it's really not a color I reached for, but these two were really, really, really picked up a lot. My last most worn video, I actually said I wanted to wear this one more and I definitely fulfilled my goal of that video. So these two have been major, major in use. Can we talk about this Paco Rabanne bag? I wore this bag so much. Like it was to a point where it was like, okay, can you stop wearing this bag? You have other bags. I wore this to go to work. I wore this to go out. I wore this to restaurants. I wore this for breakfast. Hands down, one of the best purchases I did this year. And Paco Rabanne, one of those brands, the bags aren't that expensive. I highly, highly, highly recommend picking these up. The last bag that I reached for so much this winter was this one over here, my Fendi baguette. I've had this for years. I love this bag. Every winter I feel like it comes back hard. I want more vintage baguettes, but like I feel like people have gone wild on what they're charging for baguettes. So if you do have a vintage baguette you want to get rid of, let a girl know because I'll probably buy it. But I love this one. This has been such a classic favorite. You guys have been around for a minute. You know how much I love this bag and how much I carry it. This winter, she was good to me. I have two pairs of boots that I forgot to show you guys. So I have these that are acne. 
They are a patent leather, like Chelsea boot, I guess, pointy Chelsea boot. I don't know if the camera's capping, but there's like a little metal cap here, little block heel. I wore these to death this winter. I love patent. I love the way patent wears in winter. I got a tip actually from Michael Kors himself when I used to work for the brand. He had told me wear patent leather and you just Windex them clean so you don't get slush. And if you guys are from Montreal, you know how annoying slush is and how all over the place it gets. And Michael Kors told me just Windex and wipe and he was right which is why I think I abused these boots this winter I love them and I got them on massive sale. I think they were like 800 regular. I got them for like 60 bucks They were like on a closeout sale. So this was a very good score The last pair of boots that I should probably have cleaned the heel on are these by Want les Essentiels Also, I think they were 600. I got them for 40 bucks. They were a score of the century. They wore really well. I actually sprayed them at the beginning of winter and they just wore really, really well. The color was be really beautiful. I wasn't sure I was gonna wear them as much because of the color. I thought that maybe black would have been more efficient or I don't know, useful, but this color ended up being perfect. All right guys, so that's it. Those are my favorite luxury items that I wore for the winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know down below which was your most worn item. Was it expected? Was it unexpected? I don't think I have anything else to say besides I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.